Hey everyone, we're going to be looking more at this upcoming tornado outbreak to happen in the Dixie Alley and the Central United States. Before we could get into the forecast, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on this tornado outbreak. I will have a live stream tomorrow. It is scheduled at 12 p.m. or maybe it will be starting earlier than that. We will have a bunch of special guests on the live stream, live storm chasers that will be live in Dixie Alley tomorrow. So make sure you do check that out. We're trying to get to 100 likes um, before we do go actually live. So that'll be down in the comments below. However, let's get straight into this. As you can see, this is the day one convective outlook made by the Storm Prediction Center. As you can see, they have just issued an enhanced risk for severe storms across portions of Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas right there. That is mainly for the hail threat for today. But as we see, you have a tornado threat also. So you do have a 5% risk for tornadoes. I will go live if I have to, but right now it is not scheduled to go live for today. But we do have that 5% risk for tornadoes across Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Arkansas. Wind risk for today is up to a 15% chance for 60 mile per hour and greater wind gusts in that whole yellow shaded area and also another yellow shaded area over here in louisiana arkansas and mississippi and finally the hail risk it has been upgraded to a third percent chance for significant hail as you can see we have two areas of significant hail right in the texas area and oklahoma and kansas even a bit of texas as well so we have two significant risk areas for two inch plus size hail now here is what we're going to be mainly talking about today and as you can see they have issued a moderate risk super early this morning for louisiana tennessee mississippi and alabama this is definitely going to we're definitely going to see some strong and possibly even violent tornadoes over here in this whole moderate risk area we may even see a very little high risk issued for around this type of area right in there on day one uh but right now it's looking to stay as that moderate risk as you can see as we look at the tornado risk we have a 15 percent chance a significant risk for tornadoes ef2 and higher tornadoes are possible in that whole region right there you also do have a 5% risk for tornadoes around that region. You can still see some pretty strong tornadoes in the 5% risk. Don't get me wrong. And you do have a very thin 2% risk in all around that. Now, the wind risk is also pretty decent. As you can see, we have a 30%. Not a significant chance, but we do still have a 30% chance for some significant wind gusts in the 30 percent chance area that means you can see 70 mile per hour wind gusts and higher and even up to 80 mile per hour wind gusts here's the updated hail risk and we do have a significant chance for hail two inch plus size hail and higher will be possible in this region right here as well as the 30 percent chance region you could see two inch plus size hail and higher one inch plus size hail and higher will be possible in the yellow shaded area as well as the brown shaded area finally here's the day three outlook and this is for thursday as you can see they have issued an enhanced risk for severe storms across portions of the east coast as you can see and we also do have a slight risk around that enhanced risk for severe storms here is the overall risk for every hazard and as you can see we have a significant chance for every hazard tornadoes wind and hail you can definitely see all of those significant right now tomorrow we will have all of the details for thursday so again make sure you do stay tuned for the briefing for tomorrow very uh, early in the morning i will have a briefing possibly even a live briefing i'm not sure yet um, but definitely a video will be uploaded uh, early tomorrow morning discussing uh, the latest or the final forecast for tomorrow's severe weather now that we have the full h triple r out and this is the latest model runs on this upcoming tornado outbreak and as you can see right now we have some thunderstorms uh in southeastern mississippi and pretty much the majority of alabama is seeing rain showers and thunderstorms this is going to soon be moving into portions of georgia and let me switch that color to yellow here also seeing some showers and thunderstorms over here in the carolinas 
So this is all going to be moving eastward throughout the day. As you can see, maybe some, maybe even some severe thunderstorms over here in Mississippi and Alabama. That's going to be moving northeastward. We can definitely see a 5% risk for tornadoes in this whole region. So you do have a pretty decent risk for tornadoes today across that region today and as you can see more storms develop around 2 p.m this whole region will be definitely a tornado prone area um and as you can see by 3 p.m you are seeing supercells in some of these areas definitely some pretty strong supercells can be definitely developed in all of those uh, areas here this is going to be moving eastward throughout the day as you get to around 7 p.m those supercells really start to weaken here even a hook echo is showing up on composite reflectivity. Of course, it's not exactly what the radar is going to look like, but it is something very similar. Still moving eastward by 12 a.m., and you are seeing already some supercells by Wednesday at 12 a.m. So this is now Wednesday we're talking about, and you're already seeing a supercell right there in southeastern Arkansas. That's going to be moving northeastward as well. You're seeing some initiation of some morning convection possibly even some intense supercells in northern mississippi by 2 a.m that all is going to be moving northeastward and as you can see we're still seeing those strong and severe thunderstorms hitting now northern alabama by 4 a.m we're now reaching 5 a.m now and we're seeing those severe thunderstorms all across northern mississippi now mostly into northern alabama and now we're at 6 a.m. And as you can see, still those severe thunderstorms. We're now moving into around 8 a.m. now. Still strong thunderstorms. It, they are weakening definitely a little bit here. This is definitely going to clear out during the day and bring more energy within the atmosphere, which is going to be quite bad for this region. As you can see, we could see cell initiation as early as 1 p.m. And these are not even the main cells that are developing yet. As you can see, still those supercells developing ahead of this line, and those could be producing tornadoes, even strong tornadoes in here. They look mainly small supercells, um, but still you can definitely see some intense supercells ahead of this line. As you can see, a bunch of hook echoes showing up on composite reflectivity, and you're seeing a very intense line of supercells entering mississippi and alabama this is going to be a very damaging line here every day definitely could see some pds severe thunderstorm warnings in that line here we're seeing a bunch of hook echoes already showing up on this future radar here which is very concerning for mississippi and alabama and as you can see that's still going by 12 a.m now thursday and as you can see, that's still moving eastward now into portions of Georgia. We will see these overnight tornadoes hitting these areas. Now by 6 a.m., that line is still moving eastward. And I may not be able to do a live stream on Thursday because it is going to be very early morning. But that's as far as we can go right now. Tomorrow, I will have more details on Thursday. Or mainly talking about Wednesday right now. We're already 10 minutes into the video. So we're going to look at these ingredients real quick here. This is the most unstable Cape values. Which is the most unstable energy within the atmosphere. So this is the instability. And as you can see, as we go forward, when these supercells start to develop. And this line starts heading eastward. You are seeing upwards of 3,000 joules per kilogram. This is definitely going to cause some pretty big hail in some of these storms. And that starts to weaken by the time you get to around 10 p.m. there. Here's the surface base cap values. If you have more cap, it's the more uh, difficult it is for storms to really get rolling. And it is really difficult for tornadoes here. And there is definitely going to be some cap around the region. As you can see by 12 p.m., there are some dots of cap. That's maybe some cells and you are seeing some cap in some of those cells there but as you can see within that line there is definitely some quite a bit of cap over here uh but those are storms so of course storms are going to kind of trigger uh that cap so mainly not a lot of cap in the region and this is going to lower that risk for a bust. So as you can see, let's look at the surface-based lifted index. You also need a lot of lift within the atmosphere to get those storms rolling here. So let's get to 8, 12 p.m. As you can see, there's a bunch of lift within the atmosphere. You're seeing negative 
10 Celsius. This is an extreme amount of lift. So we're going to see some very nice, intense supercells over here. You're even seeing up to negative 11 Celsius in here. If we take a quick sounding here, this is not very contaminated at all. And as you can see, we have that classic supercell signature right in this box here. You are seeing a very nice amount of cape. 3,000 cape. Uh, you are only seeing around negative 8 cap. So this is a very nice sounding. Uh, the possible hazard type is tornado. And this is definitely a very nice photograph. So these are going to be some very nice, intense storms. Very healthy storms. Uh, there's still a bust risk with this outbreak here. But it is not that very high, uh, to be honest here. As we look at bulk shear values, you're going to see an extreme amount of shear. You are seeing over here in these yellow spots, you are seeing 80 knots of shear. That is a, a massive amount of shear. And we could see some very violent tornadoes within these little pockets here. And those are all supercells. So these are already showing possible extreme uh, violent tornadoes um, hitting in these yellow dots. Uh, and those are indicating some very strong shear values, which can indicate some a lot of those tornadic supercells right in that whole line of supercells. Uh, storm related helicity. This is the cyclonic vorticity within the storms or the possible cyclonic vorticity within the storms. And as you head forward here, we are seeing an extreme amount 1048, which is definitely very bad here. Like I said, within this around around this region, we could see a high risk, but definitely very small, like uh, for example, very small like that. Um, but definitely in that region, we could definitely see a possible slim chance for a high risk issued for day one. As you see, as you head forward, still an extreme amount of velocity within the atmosphere here within this line of storms. You head forward here into Georgia, still a very nice amount of velocity within this line of storms. And then that's about as far as we can go. Still, within that line of storms, by 6 a.m. Thursday, you are still seeing a very extreme amount of helicity within those storms. Now, let's look at, finally, supercell composite. And as we head forward here, we are seeing definitely a very nice amount. This is the risk for supercells. You're seeing about 26 within here and even up to 27 uh, within there. So, it's a very big risk for supercells developing within that whole region of Mississippi. And we look at significant tornado parameters. So this is the risk for significant tornadoes. And these are practically maxed out. And as you can see, we are seeing pinks and even whites in there. That could lead up to around a five to six, as you can see uh, on this scale. So you're seeing near maxed out models here and as you can see now we are seeing even reds in there so right here we're seeing 6.6 .6. that is very near maxed out for significant tornado parameters and finally let's go ahead and look at the dew point temperatures uh so this is the moisture that's going to be within this atmosphere tomorrow as we head into around 12 p.m you're seeing extreme amount of moisture, 70 degrees for dew points. That is definitely very high moisture within this atmosphere that's going to really fuel these storms. 6 p.m. they are just decreasing a little bit, but still around 70 Fahrenheit, which is an extreme amount of moisture within this whole area. That's going to be able to fuel those storms. Moisture and a lot of heavy rainfall. We're going to see a lot of flash flood, flood warnings in this whole region uh, by the morning of Thursday here and here's the temperature and you are seeing here um, by the time we get to 12 p.m. you are seeing 81 degrees so it's gonna be very hot and humid that's gonna really fuel those storms tomorrow if you did enjoy the forecast on the upcoming tornado outbreak be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new turn on post notifications so you won't miss this live stream 
That's coming up on Wednesday, starting either 12 p.m. or earlier. And like I said before, we're going to have some special guests on stream and live storm chasers all across Dixie Alley tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'll have that link in the comments below. But anyways, stay safe.